Hey friends, if you ever witness someone coughing, holding their chest tightly as if they are feeling some pressure on it and trying to breathe faster but are still feeling short of breath, please keep in mind that there are chances that this person might be having an asthma attack. Yes, my friends, I'm sure you must have heard that term asthma before or know someone who is battling it. But have you ever wondered what factors are responsible for it? So, in today's episode, let us explore the science behind the disease called asthma and try to reach its root cause. Zoom in! So, what is asthma? It is a lung condition that causes breathing problems. It is common in kids and teens and could be hereditary. It can be mild or so severe that it gets in the way of day-to-day -day life. But what's happening in our body during an asthma attack? Well, it all starts in the passageway inside your lungs, known as bronchi and bronchioles, through which the air passes. These passages have an inner covering called the mucous membrane or mucosa surrounded by a layer of smooth muscles. Normally, when someone inhales, air goes in through the nose or mouth down the windpipe called trachea and into the airways of the lungs and the mucus inside passageways helps to trap any outer particles like dust or pollen. But when people with asthma are exposed to certain triggers like smoke, dust, pollen, colder climates, etc. An asthma attack can occur, making it difficult for them to breathe. And that is because the smooth ring circling the air passages in the lungs tightens and narrows down. And at the same time, the dust particles cause the mucosal lining to swell and produce lots of thick mucus that blocks the airways making it harder for the infected person to breathe. As they feel their chest tighten, making them cough uncontrollably due to swollen airways, they make a wheezing sound as the air whistles while passing through the narrowed space. These symptoms may seem like the asthmatic person is having difficulty in breathing in. But in reality, during the attack, it is difficult for them to breathe out. That's because carbon dioxide gets trapped inside the body, cutting the supply of fresh oxygen, resulting in an asthma attack. But the crucial question is, how can we prevent these attacks? Well, one way to limit asthma includes knowing what triggers it and avoiding them. But unfortunately, it isn't really possible to live in pollution and dust-free environment. So, this is where inhalers come into the picture. Most asthma medicines need to be breathed in and an inhaler helps get medicine in the form of powder into the lungs. Now we know how asthma works. But the most important question is, what causes it? Well. On an honest note, we don't know. Yes, no one really knows the reasons behind its cause. Although it is believed that certain genetic and environmental factors could be the main culprit. Trivia time! Did you know in children, boys are more likely to develop asthma than girls? But in adults, women are more likely to suffer than men. Also, asthma is a reason for children missing more than 10 million school days a year. It's question time! What is the other name for windpipe? Do write your answer in the comment section below and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? 
Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!